Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, so I decided, hey, let's do this. This is not going to be, I'm not going to be doing this often, maybe just like once every few months, but I decided, let's do a review. So, I recently acquired a new Mac Pro, not the trash can, not the iMac Pro, this one, the Mac Pro 1.1. It's the original Mac Pro. Back in 2006, this originally costed $2,500. But I paid $5 for it. Let's talk about that. So first thing I did when I got the computer home was dusted it off. It was really dusty. Like you can see kind of in this video that I took at the at the event. It was really dusty. It's, it wasn't fun. Uh, we had to borrow our neighbor's air compressor because this a little can of air wouldn't do. So after that, about maybe a few, like two weeks later... I took the computer apart, and then, like, I redid the CPUs, I, I redid everything. So what I did is, took the computer apart, pretty easy, kind of, relatively, and then took out the heat sinks, which exposes the two CPUs. And that dome paste must be, like, a few years old, like, like probably 11, 12 years old at this point. So we took it off. Clean the CPUs, dusted everything off, and then uh, put some more thermal paste on it, some new thermal paste. It works fine. The RAM configuration is kind of interesting. So the RAM sits on a daughter board that you can kind of slide in and out. But obviously the, the previous owner like knew about customization and stuff like that. And they, I think the stock RAM was about like 4 gigs of RAM, I think that was stock. So, I'm so I'm part of uh, my school's club, Key Club, and we had an event where uh, it was at the, our school's parking lot. It was like a garage sale type thing, yard sale. I got to square 5 a.m., but it was worth it. So basically, when I was not on my shift, I was uh, like walking around, and I found this beauty. Uh, I only had fifteen dollars in my pocket because I've already paid for. That monitor back there, that monitor is actually really nice for five dollars. It don't make it anymore sixty by ten. It's great. But as I was saying, I said this might be a hard sell, but can I? But fifteen dollars for it, right? Because I'm a nerd. And she said, "No, I'll give you five because like it was like for a nonprofit." But like I, I don't, I don't know. I she didn't knew, know the value of the computer. I'm guessing. I can find it on eBay for like hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So uh, let's talk about this. So, so for five dollars, it gives you a forty-five pound case, pretty heavy, by the way. Two Xeon C, right? Two Xeon. Okay. So this is the first sixty-four bit Apple computer. That was actually impressive at the time. So for five dollars, it gave me two Intel fifty one hundred series Xeon CPUs. So already that, if I go online, it's already worth like a few times over. It gives me a ATI Radeon uh, graphics card. That's about three hundred dollars. It gave me twelve gigs of RAM, which I can't really get the value of it at the moment. And for five dollars, it's pretty impressive. The one thing it didn't include was hard drives, which it might not sound bad. I have a few three and a half inches, three, three and a half inch hard drives, but the real problem was finding software. So the latest OS it ran was Line, I believe. The thing is, I have the I have a Snow Leopard and Star Disk, but there's like a little uh, can you see it there? Yeah, it has like a little crack in it. So this wouldn't work. So I had to go online to very sketchy websites. I think I have a, I think I have a virus because I'm just trying to find an ISO file for... So I went online. It took a, about a day to find a genuine uh, Leopard yeah leopard install. It was worth it because I just put it on a, on a disk and then booted it up. It works. It doesn't really run too well. I mean, it does have the two CPUs and everything. But first thing I try to do, install Final Cut. 
because I have a Final Cut 6, I believe, install disk. It says I need 10, I need at least, I think it was 256 megabytes of video RAM. It said I have none, even though I have a graphics card with one gig. I guess it works like that. So I tried that, no luck. So I, I was thinking, what can I really use this for? Is this a big computer? Because like, I don't regret the purchase. But like it's just a big computer that can't really run YouTube or Netflix or really anything useful. So I decided let's put Windows on it. That failed miserably. So I have a I have a Vista install disk, but it didn't recognize it, even though it says I could put Vista on it. So I decided let's put Linux on here. Why not? Let's put Linux. So I looked at let me, let me check the list. So I downloaded seven different uh, Linux distros. That includes Ubuntu, Nobix, Mint, Kali. Yes, I downloaded Kali because why not? Arch, Fedora, and Peppermint. So we did that. So first thing I did was Ubuntu, which works with flying colors. It's great. It's fast. Then I ran Nobix, which Nobix isn't really a well-known uh, Linux distro. Not to my knowledge, at least. And uh, Novix ran actually really well. Novix is famous for having, uh, for being able to, what's it called? Uh, to, for being able to have the whole operating system run off of a disk. Because, like, it doesn't really know install, to my knowledge. So that, so that was fun. Novix runs, it, it's, <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite OS's because it's just, like, really fun to use. There's, like, the, Dragging around, there's Blender, which is a, a 3D modeling software, 3D animation software built in for some reason. So yeah, Navix is a really fun OS to use. Mint, Mint work, works pretty well. It's a, uh, it's more for like if you want like more Windows type, Windows type of an OS on your computer. But Mint runs swell, it's great. Uh, no, no caveat, stuff like that. Kali Linux runs well, it runs good, but I don't know why you'd, you'd want to use Kali, because Kali isn't even meant for personal use, it's meant for, like, penetration testing, that's it. <laughs> Arch Linux, kind of. All I really got was, like, a, like a, what's it called? More like a prompt, like a command prompt type thing, terminal type thing. I don't know what I did. I didn't Google it because I was too lazy at the time. But I I put it as a yes. Fedora, no. Fedora doesn't work. Don't try it. And then I tried Peppermint. Peppermint was uh, weird from the beginning. So I think Peppermint's from Europe. so And they only have a server from Europe. So the download was incredibly slow. Incredibly slow. It was at like 50... Kilobyte, kilobits a second. But after I got downloaded, after like two hours, it works. Peppermint works. Pe so, really, we're going to talk about the advantages to to each uh, Linux distro and kind of talk about it. So Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distro. Ubuntu is known for for being like universally accepted. It's like it's like a genuine operating system. Ubuntu is good for everyday use, for emailing, for Amazon, I guess, because it has the Amazon app built in. Ubuntu is just great. It's free. There's two editions you can get. There's the server and desktop edition. They've been doing this for many years. They know what they're doing. So uh, Ubuntu would be if I can't use Windows or Mac OS, my choose would be Ubuntu. Ubuntu is really fun to use. It's really user friendly. Really, anyone can get used to it. Ubuntu is great. Nobix. Nobix is probably the most fun I've had in an operating system. Because it's like wacky. <laughs> I don't know if wacky is the right word. But it's just fun to use. From the animations to the, to the performance. It works really well. Nobix is really fun to use. Except... Most of these, you have to find, go through like a mirror to download it, so that might be a bit confusing for people who don't know. Mint. Mint is 
actually really nice. It's really well defi- well refined. It's modern. It's sleek. Mint is like Windows Vista, but better. And if it's on Linux, <laughs> I guess. Mint is fun. It then no issues, no issues installing it. Stuff like no, no issues installing it. Nothing at all. Kali Linux. I don't know why you want to do this, but Kali Linux works fine. <laughs> really, all the Linuxes are fine, but if you're gonna do this for like personal use, do not use Kali because it's not made for that. So I'll kind of let this person explain, but like, Kali is not made for personal use. You shouldn't put your passwords in there. Yeah, don't really do it. Arch, I can't really say because it kind of worked, it kind of didn't. Um, I'll get some video of Arch working if I ever got it to work. So, yeah, Fedora didn't work. Don't even try it. Peppermint, yes. Peppermint's fun. Um, Peppermint's probably, like, the most fun to use because what I ended up doing is choosing Ubuntu and Peppermint for my final OS's. So for, so for that, I'm going to need to burn it to an install disk and then do that. So while I did that, I have had the Peppermint music video (laughs) playing in the background on loop. Why? Because why not? And then after the disc finish, I uh, named it appropriately and then got to work. So what I'm going to kind of do is, in the last few installs, I had a microphone on me. And we're going to kind of go through the whole process, the whole commentary, stuff like that. So I, I forgot which one is which because I'm not a good video maker and I don't prepare notes. But here's some video of me kind of talking about the operating system, like down there. And yeah. Oh god, oh fuck. Oh fuck. The second OS we're going to try is probably the most ubiquitous in the 
Linux space is Ubuntu. So I just made a I just imaged the disk so it's bootable. Okay, so we have some sort of boot screen. There's a little accessibility keyboard thing. He said you broke and that's good. All right, so we have that. It's, let's try Ubuntu. I can't install it since I have no uh, drive in here. All right, so Ubuntu works just fine. One thing we're going to try is like internet stuff. So this is a live session user, that's us. So we have to go to uh, settings. This can be a little rough, but like, it'll work. In theory. Team, so I've tested all, so I've tested all of these OS's before. I'm just going to do some like long run testing. So here you have like a boot menu. And then you can like uh, I'm gonna try all of these because I don't I don't want to install on the drive yet. It's gonna show all these like messages saying like oh USB cannot like it's weird. So I have uh, I've tested all of them. Peppermint I have to put down on the list as yes. So this is peppermint. It's actually like really nice. It's nice to look like you can uh, play uh, mahjong, I guess. You can, let's connect to the Wi-Fi. I haven't tested Wi-Fi on these yet. Okay, let's try that again. Let me, if I go to youtube.com. It goes here, it's like nice. I can like log in. Okay, that's, I don't know, I don't know Firefox enough. I'm all about the opera gang. Oh. Here we have videos. I hate Facebook. Yes, I. Me too. Um, I will search up guns and butter. So I can search up a music video. It will play fine, but it will start playing on the internal speakers, which is not that good. That's that's not good. So we have to go in, into the settings. Uh, we have to go to where is it? Multimedia, and then volume control, and then we have to put it to the GPU, and then we can put it like over. This is not really good volume. It it doesn't stop at a hundred percent. And and then I can uh, make it even louder on the physical monitor. Oh god. Alright, so we have Nobix here. Also, I just changed the lens so like, it has a nicer view. Oh, this one's funny. I don't know if you heard that, but it said initiating startup sequence. Alright, so this one's actually like really fast to run with. Uh, you can uh, play with the like, Blender, I guess. Blender's already like pre installed, which I think is pretty funny. So I can uh, create stuff, I guess. Ooh, yay. 
That's a long boy pole. Yeah, bl Blender is kind of confusing to, to deal with. You can uh, have fun with the corners if you want. And if you like close it, it'll go woo. So the, the built-in operating system is Chromium. Okay, that, that's, that's not good. Okay, so it's connecting. Okay, that's just not a good sign. All right, so Nobix works. So, uh... <laughs> It's your boy Kendrick. This is like a this is like a twenty one by nine video, but it's like using like a quarter of the screen. Yeah, I don't think yeah the, the graphics card don't it doesn't support. Yeah, we can like have fun with this. It's like a really like fun and stable OS to use. I actually used this OS for like a while ago. As like a daily OS to use. Like one thing I did, like I was getting ready for homecoming. I was getting ready for homecoming and I needed like a timer, but like I didn't want to use like a timer on Google cause like I, because I don't know. So, what I did is I opened this app called KT Timer. It's like a K, K Timer. It's like for commanding. It's like for commands. Like at, at, certain, at X amount of time, you like. It's for programming, basically. So, what I did here, I create a new timer. Delay set for like a, an hour and a, I don't know. An hour and a half and then. Delete, and uh, let, we started it. And I had multiple ones like here, like, but they're both going at the same time. It's like, okay, at this time, you have to like do this. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a really fun and OS to use. I, I really love it. Yeah, it's, it's a great OS, I love it. Log out and it's gonna shut down. Hey, look, it works. Who would have suspected when I do the thing correctly, it works? Ah, uh, that's hot. So it kind of has the same, like, loading icon. <laughs> so it has that sound. That's, this is amazing. Um, so let's, let, let's go to Firefox. So I already have stuff networked in. What do you mean it's, it's not working? Connect, okay, I have to wait for that. I should, I should have planned this video up better. Forty six. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, it works. Okay, so let's go to YouTube. So, so we're gonna play some ASAP boys, some some Rocky. Okay, so that works. So let's sign in. It doesn't have the ad block is not built in. That's not good. <laughs> to watch um Guns and Butter, you have to put in like a you make sure you're 18 because there's a scene. It's like kind of questionable. So let's go to Guns and Butter. And 
let's uh, watch this. Okay, so let's go to, how, how can I find like system information? <laughs> Try this. System level profile. Oh, that doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. So, only five of it is like used, I guess? Only six gigs is like usable? Alright. And I can be a hacker man, do that, I guess. Or clear, clear, and then I can uh that CD CD tree tree pseudo apt pseudo apt hyphen get install. What am I doing with my life? I'm installing a tree on this computer. Kripalovsky, Kripalovsky. I didn't tell him how to spell. Tree, tree. Okay, so that works. Ah, uh, that's hot. Alright, let's try that. Okay, yeah, that's good. Shut down. Ooh, fun. So that's a live mode. Well, that's like rolling. Now wait five minutes. All 
Alright, so which operating systems have my pick? Well, right now the computer's sitting in my brother's slash guest room. Well, that <laughs> that room behind me. With a ultra wide monitor, because I don't really use my ultra wide anymore. Because I have a three monitor set up back there. So that's kind of like a guest computer if they want to use it. It's just sitting there because the computer is absolutely massive and I have no space for it. So what operating system did I end up choosing? I chose Ubuntu and uh, Peppermint just because so I can make that Peppermint disc. Uh, my life is sad. I actually might do uh, Nobix because I have two hard drives in there so I can like go to the boot picker and choose which one I want. Do I have anything else to say? Oh yeah, at the event, at the thing, I actually bought two. Actually, bought two more things. I bought the monitor for five dollars, the computer for five, and I bought a camera. Actually, I bought this camera for uh, ten dollars. So this little camera costs more than both things combined. So it's a film camera. There's no back. I have film in here right now. Sorry about that. So I have this film in here right now. I already took some photos with it. Uh, let me get a photo. Let me peep this photo. Oh, it has zoom. That's loud. So if I uh, go back. That's not gonna end well, but I don't care. So. And for free, I got uh, three typewriters. Three, for some reason. I only agreed to one. The guy said, take all of them. I'm like, no. And they're like, okay, take it. I'm like, okay. The guy just wanted to get off his hands. It was free. The guy was nice. Yeah. So I'm going to do uh, kind of more videos talking about stuff like the camera, the monitor, maybe. Uh-oh. So I'm going to be talking more about this. I, I'm glad to be back on YouTube. Have you guys missed me? So, yeah. I'm going to take some film and films. See you guys later. Peace. We did it.